Hello, I'm Sean Jones. Welcome to your week in tech. Now, it really has been a bumper investment week, with London-based pocket concierge Guest U raising $1.1 million from Portugal Ventures. Manchester-based funding options and SME financing tool has raised £1.25 million from GLI Finance. Now, this company helps SMEs access finance by using its platform to scan the market. And founder Conrad Ford is a former winner of our elevator pitch competition. London-based travel tech startup BD4 Travel secured $4.2 million in a Series A round. It's the first funding round by any company within the Travel Tech Lab, a new London-based incubator. And mobile retail loyalty app LoyalZoo has raised £250,000 on Cedars. Now, in other news, former chair of Tech City UK, Baroness Joanna Shields, has been appointed Minister for Internet Safety and Security as part of David Cameron's new cabinet. Now, her role will see her tackling hacking and cybersecurity, as well as online child abuse and bullying. And it seems the tech sector is leading the way in bringing foreign investment to London. The capital has seen a record £450 million invested in the tech sector in the first quarter of this year, plus a boom in the number of companies setting up home here. Russia is planning to break away from iOS and Android. The country's Minister of Communications has announced a plan to create a rival operating system to escape from the dominance of US technology. Now, they're currently talking to Finnish developer Yola about their open source Sailfish OS. The country wants to see the use of non-Russian mobile operating systems drop to just 50% by 2025. And meanwhile, across the Atlantic, Facebook's internet.org has come under fire from digital rights groups for its questionable aims and threat to net neutrality. Internet.org allows subscribers to have free access to limited internet services. Now, to do this, the pages must be basic to minimise data usage. Network providers believe the free access would then encourage people to pay for wider services. But actually, digital rights groups are accusing Facebook of opening up a free, limited service which will then be more susceptible to malware and government surveillance. Now, do you live in a shared house? Well, it is quite likely then that you've faced the trouble of sharing the bills and organising the finances. Our download of the week, Splittable, is here to take away those problems. And finally, a Finnish researcher has created a Tumblr account which really has been making waves this week. The Tumblr lists images of all male panels, their location, and a small headshot of the Hoff for endorsement. Well, it started as a joke, but it really has taken off on social media, and now she gets over 300 submissions a day. She says hopefully humour will help open up the discussion around gender imbalance. This has been your Week in Tech. Thank you for watching and for more do check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.